Another? A rum flip this time. And where'd I find fresh eggs in this wretched town? There's little else but piss and insects. Aye, we're working on that. Oh, oh, dear lady, what do they call you? And when oh. they're sober, a jilt when they're sauced. But never, lady. Oh, <laughs> well, good Leanne. I, I, oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. <sighs> Back of shite! Do you hear me? It's a bag of bloody shite! It's a ruse to keep us off before they attack Nassau. You'll see, mark me. It's no ruse, Fiend. I heard it straight from the mouth of a greasy Bermudan captain. There's a pardon on offer for any pirate that wants it. Ruse or no, I think it's plain the British may return to Nassau with arms, no doubt. We'll need a plan. Walk with us, can we? There's trouble brewing. In the absence of any clear ideas, I say we lay low. No piracies and no violence. Do nothing to ruffle the king's feathers for now. Preserving the king's plumage is no concern of mine, Ben. It will be when he sends his soldiers to scrub this island clean of our residue. Look around you, man. Is this cesspool worth dying for? Aye! It's our republic! Our idea! A free land for free men, remember? So maybe it's filthy to look at. But ain't it still an idea worth fighting for? I can't be sure. But when I look on the fruits of our years of labor, all I see is sickness, idleness, idiocy. Not a sunbeam of difference between here and London, then, eh? That is right, man. Taking a wide view, we're not doing so bad out here. The sun, rum, and leisure as far as the eye can see. Aye. Nassau may look fine from a distance, but at its core, there's a disease I cannot stomach. Sickness can be cured, Ben. If only you have the right medicine. But a corpse cannot be reanimated. I can't believe the shite I'm hearing drop from your lips. Why not take the pardon now and be done with it? Peace, both of you. We can satisfy both aims if we work together. Find medicines to ease our burdens here, but in a way that don't attract the British. I wager the nearest doctor is sitting pretty in Havana. Not a place I mean to go. But the Spanish fleet that sunk two years back would have some medicine. All sealed up in glass vials. You'd need a diving bell to reach those depths. Aye, and with some coin and a few supplies, a diving bell won't be hard to come by. This is a plan I can stand behind. Find medicines without stirring up trouble. Agreed, Thatch? Agreed. Aye. I'll meet you near the racks as soon as you're able. Oh, no, no, if you've had enough. Remember, Thatch! Keep your cannons court! Piss off, Ben!
concluded. No doubt. Nobody messed with man from Seafood. For I'm the fiercest rogue to sail these West Indies. Ah! Stop! Captain Seafood's coming! The women will say, to the trail of them and somewhere between us. You'll want nothing but can be found here, sir. You have my thanks. Javelin is all, Thatch. This is a darling galley. Thirty-two guns, is it? I lost count at forty. You've stepped up a rung. So, any luck finding medicines here? Nothing round this spot, sadly. 
But there's a few wrecks yonder that have been scoured by nothing but crabs and coral. I'll have a look. Edward? Edward, is that you? My goodness, the West Indies is a compact place. Hello, Bonnet. A surprise seeing you out here? I met Mr. Thatcher a month or so ago, and he offered to take me under his yard arms, so to speak. He says I must wash the hayseed from my hair before I'm a true pirate. Well, good luck to you then. Worst men have become better under Blackbeard's watch. <laughs> the wind is picking up, Nas. Get the mainsail into the wind. Surely we are nearing our goal. Ghost the gallants and royal! Call them in! Get off the-
Ahoy! Any luck? I found one crate hidden beneath a school of sharks. Sadly, the elixir inside is... quite spoiled. Plague and... perish. Will we steal medicines now? Remember the pardon, Thatch. We're to be subtle. Says Ornigold, a pirate, now too proud to call himself one. Now he prefers caution to cannons. Caution's nothing without charisma. Or if a man plays the fool, then it's only fools he'll persuade, but appear to be the devil. And all men will submit. And would you be the devil? Of course it does. You can find a quiet way to acquire medicines. Tell me soon. Otherwise, I'll handle it myself. happened here were you attacked other way round it were blackbeard who struck first open fire on a british man of war the pillock what in god's name for still searching for medicines but he's gone bar me if you ask me i'll bring him home leave him man he's heaped this trouble on himself Captain, there's a wreck yonder. Looks recent. I see it. Let's hope Thatch hasn't come to the same end. Another bit of wreckage, Captain. This is looking grim. Aye. Keep your eyes peeled. Survive, Captain. Survive, yes. This is getting well out of hand. A dozen crates of medicine should not be so hard to come by. That ain't my meaning. It's Thatch and Hornigold and this pointless feud of theirs. Can't you feel it? I do, I. But both men have their hearts in a good place. Both want the best for the people of... But is that the best course for us? Ade, see there. It's her captain, the Queen Anne's Revenge. And she's in a bad way. No time for a vote. Thatch is outnumbered. Thatch is overwhelmed. I'm going ashore. I'll keep the jackdaw circling. Swim us off the wind! Fall down and crew up! Throw those men! Oh, you 
your book learning! Prepare you for a scuffle of this sort, Mr. Bonnet! Oh, in the least, no. For certain, there's more to be learned by doing than reading. Remember that! You stirred up a nest of trouble, Thatch. In service of a noble cause! Medicines, I hope you mean. Aye, the galleon nearby. And if we crack these lobsters away, we might catch up to her. Oh, God! Remain here! Edward, please! Hang in there, Bonnet. Keep your arms up and you're back to the sea. Stirred up a nest of trouble, Thatch. In service of a noble cause! Medicines, I hope you mean. Hi! A galleon nearby! If we crack these lobsters quick, we might catch up to her! And all your book learning! Prepare you for a scuffle of this sort, Mr. Bonnet! Oh, not in the least, no. For certain, there's more to be learned by doing than reading. And then... Hang in there, Bonnet. Keep your arms up and your back to the sea. Ha! You'll be swiftly forgotten. Heads up! Back to my ship, quick as you please. She'll not slip away now. Oh, this is too much! I'll see you back to your jackdaw when the smoke is clear. But for now, I need a helmsman. Call it out. All but sunk. I'm seeing the devil you promised, Thatch. Oh, I'd have shown them my angel if they'd taken quarter. But well, there's no going back now. So round that bastard. With all the
You'll be hanged and sun-dried, just as them that were in Boston. The king's called for a pardon. <laughs> Captain, we've searched the hold. It's a middle intake. But the medicine we found bears a Charles Town stamp. Thank you, Mr. Hines. We cannot resupply Nassau out here by force and accident alone. We should go to Charlestown for the lot. Hello! Uh, are we victorious? I fear I am not built for the fatigue and care required to live as a man of fortune. Meet me in Charlestown. One month from today. flag at last. Yes. Yes, Blackbeard cut me loose, sadly. Time to have a go at this myself. Well, that's grand. Yes, it's for the best, I think. I should have some wild stories when next we meet. Edward, your constant friendship has been my most treasured find on these seas. Well above gold and silver and rum, I, I prize the courage you have inspired in me this year. Thank you, sir. A fair good morrow to you. By your wives, families, and countrymen? How else to explain your government's complete disinterest in your well being? Hostages for nonsense! These were my only terms! Yeah. Six. Days of pure fucking sights. So I must conclude that you men are the pariahs of Charlestown, and I would profit better by using your organs for chum and your bones for char. By Christ! This is my predicament. To kill you, or to press you into my service. It's a decision I'll make hardly, but not with remorse. Ahoy, Edward. What the hell are you doing, man? All of Charleston can see this mess. This is the idea. Out of range, but well in sight. So where's the medicine? We sent a party ashore to partner with the governor. That were a week ago. No noise since. I'll handle it. Give me a day. There's movement up ahead. Is it soldiers? Aye, ah, and in something of a hurry. I propose we follow, else they spring something we ain't ready for.
Douse them all. What's your thinking? Blackbeard's been at this eight days already. So it's a good bet. Someone out there has prepared the medicine. Just in case. Ah. Well, they're stalling. Thinking up ways to avoid paying it out. Aye, so let's find where they've gathered and hope for the best. More sail. All we've got. Careful, Captain. We're drifting close to a watchtower. Earl all sail. Come off the wind, someone. There's another watchtower. Loose the stances. Two up, short and sail. What's the captain thinking? This box ship's got nowhere to turn. Keep her at half sail, Captain. Speed will do us no favors here. Concentrate. Careful with the banks. Hold down. Leave the mains. Lose the main. We cannot pass them undetected, Captain. And there is no other way. There's always another way. All stop! You there? I like ya. Hey, where do you think you're going? Huh? The alarm's had it. Say hello to the Prince of Jack. <laughs> Be sure they don't spy us trailing them. Come off the wind, someone. Come so steady as she goes, Captain. Without her. I'll be back with the medicines. Aye, sir. Waiting. 
Let's go. Don't finish us. It will be these damnable insects. Aye. The mosquitoes have sucked every last ounce of vitality from us. You think it's true what they say about black? I'm packed with hell. Only be thankful his ship remains anchored and hasn't torn a path into the art of Charlestown. Bloody pirates. Someone ought to do something. They'll be hunted down eventually. Every last one of them. Who's that there? Two old gators for their supper. Hi da, me old mucker. Warm tonight, isn't it? We'll talk about our weather another time, mate. Bit of a hurry. something past the boat. No. Nope. Quiet night. Are you sure? There's something in the water. Quiet till you showed up. Go on then. Captain's waiting. I apologize, sir. There was an accident. Private Simon! This, this crocodile! I don't care about your accidents. What's the word from the harbor, soldier? Speak. They're holding fast. But are you. It was an accident. Private Simon! This, this crocodile! I don't care about your accidents. What's the word from the harbor, soldier? Speak. No change, sir. They're holding fast, but are yet to kill or maim any of the captives, near as we can tell. Perhaps it's time to... To surrender? You'd have to listen to the man. Not a damn thing. Let's get back to me, walk. You surrender? I've been entrusted with the affairs of the town, and I do not intend to bow to the demands of a pirate, no matter how fierce his reputation. Yes, sir. As long as the supply key is with me, no man shall touch that medicine. 
May plague and calamity strike them all. Bloody idiot. What? Pirates! The ship's here! Pirates! Fall back to the mansion! Blackbeard made you as good an offer as ever a man got from any pirate. You might curse his methods, but medicine was all he wanted. And now he'll get it. You should have bartered, mate. He has returned, Captain! To take two crates and the means for mixing additional doses. Uh, that's right, thinking precious little of that these days. You hear that, Mr. Rax? My young friend returns with offerings and so saves your scrawny neck. Will you not thank him? We should quit these waters, Thatch. The governor, he's bound to muster more soldiers. You go on ahead. I, I got some business in the north. You're done, aren't you? Giving up on us. On NASA. Look, Dad. I'm late into my fourth decade on this earth. And if I don't find some means to make the fifth quiet and cozy voyage, I'd rather sink to the devil's doorstep than call myself Captain. Another year. Now we'll meet again, lad. In this world. Or the one below.